Greetings, hello everyone, and welcome to Age of Empires 2 on the Xbox with keyboard and mouse support. Uh, just to kind of showcase and let you know that, yes, I am in fact playing on Xbox. There we go, I hit the guide button and all of my uh, Xbox uh, uh, notifications and whatever are present. You simply just kind of plug in a mouse and keyboard in your Xbox and the game picks it up automatically. There's really nothing you need to do. Uh, which is pretty awesome. However, I do think there are some really cool settings that I want to talk about in here before diving into some gameplay. So let's go over that really quickly. Firstly, you'll want to go to your input option and you're going to want to change this to mouse and keyboard. And it kind of gives you a little bit of a different user interface here. Uh, but you want to make sure that your general input is set here. This option cannot be changed in game. I think this is just if you have both inputs, uh, so, you know, connected to your device, like I have both a controller and mouse and keyboard, that will tell it uh, which one you need to do. Next, one thing that I find that's really interesting if we go over here to the game option, I think this is actually kind of huge, enable crossplay. You can turn this on or off if you want. And what this allows you to do is play people on PC with Age of Empires 2 as well. Now here's really a use case that can happen is you can disable crossplay and then search in ranked and you can play ranked on Xbox with the mouse and keyboard. I'm not sure if you would classify that as OP or you would have an advantage over regular Xbox players who have a uh, controller. However, I do think that that's something really interesting. It'll let you search with mouse and keyboard uh, strictly against other Xbox players. I had thought if you just plug in mouse and keyboard, it will kind of force crossplay to turn on and you're gonna play against PC people, but that's just not the case. Finally, um, when you're here on your mouse, your keyboard and mouse, there are some additional settings here that you can um, change if you want. I don't really have a preference on a lot of these, but what's huge are going to be your hotkeys here. So when you're here in the hotkeys menu, I know this can look really overwhelming at first, and it is actually quite a lot that you can customize in here. Uh, but I think once you kind of play around with this a little bit, you can kind of understand how all of your hotkeys will modify various things. For example, on your uh, town center, you'll have some things like selected to A, D, and S. However, I have actually on my scroll command selected the camera to W, A, S, D. So if I say, for example, have a town center selected and I move W, A, S, D, I'm actually going to activate some of these uh, techs here and maybe this militia build as well. So you want to make sure that you don't have any conflicting keybinds. Uh, so just keep that in mind as you build out your hotkeys. And just to let you know, it does have uh, default hotkeys. You can choose ones for the Definitive Edition, the HD Edition, or the uh, Classic Edition. I might want to try this left-handed one as well. All right, so here we are in an actual game on Xbox. This is just a skirmish. I'm gonna showcase some basic movements using a keyboard and mouse here on Xbox. And you know, it's actually gonna operate pretty much identical to what is uh, associated on PC. I just wanna give you some quick shortcuts and tips for you if you're new to this. First of all, you're gonna see your interface looks a little bit different. This is gonna use what's known as the advanced interface that you can turn on if you have a controller. So things look a little bit different. However, let's go through some basics. Ready. Let's say hey, I select some villagers. Yours. I want them to be a control group. You just hit control and assign a number to it. So I've assigned those three villagers to one. Yay. Every time Correct. I press the number Yo. one on my Yay. keyboard, uh, I have selected those villagers. The same could be true with buildings. Every time now I press the number two, I uh, now have selected my town center. Uh, you can also use uh, each of these columns are gonna be associated to the rows on your keyboard. So for example, create a villager, that's gonna be Q. Research loom, that's gonna be A. Uh, advanced to feudal, that's Z. It's gonna tell me, well, if I had two dark age buildings and a food, I would advance, so on and so forth. Research real barrel is S. Town watch is D. Just by default, I've changed a little bit of my keybinds, uh, but you can, these are all customizable. Oh, my game crashed. This actually does happen sometimes, and I, I can't quite figure out why it does. Uh, I've played a couple of times on keyboard and mouse, and my game has crashed. You can see an example here where that's possible. 
Uh, however, everything's responsive. Like my controller, you know, I can go over here and go to my settings or look at my friends, you know, whatever. Go back to the game, move around my controller, my keyboard and mouse. The music's still playing. The game is just not picking it up. I've noticed this after I modify my keybinds. Or my hotkeys, I should say. I thought it was because I had too many conflicting hotkeys, but honestly, I really can't tell. Some other tips for playing keyboard and mouse is queuing up movements. Just hold down shift when you want to queue up some movements and it will follow to your liking. You can also, let's say, uh, you know, your units, uh, whether they're moving or not moving, let's just say I want the scout to go here. I want them to go all the way over here, but I don't want to look. You can just right click actually on the mini map itself and that will direct your scout to that uh, direction. And he will go wherever you click on the mini map. Uh, I find a really helpful shortcut to go back to my town center is H, and that actually moves your uh, your camera view. So some people, they may choose their town center. I like my town center being number one. Uh, but however, let's say I'm looking all the way over here. I select one. I'm not actually looking. I actually got to hit it, double tap it almost twice real quick to kind of get a view there. But maybe I don't want to actually have my town center selected. And I just want to kind of look back at my base. Well, simply pressing H will take me there. Just like how you can queue up movements, you can also queue up tasks for your villagers. Let's say with these villagers, I want them to build two houses. So I'm going to, while, while holding down shift, I'm going to left click for them to build that building. And then while holding down shift, I'm going to left click again. Let's just say we want a third house. We'll do it all over again. Now, let's say after they're doing all these tasks, I want them to go, uh, I don't know, get some food from this livestock while holding down shift. I'm going to right click there as well. So what you're going to see are once these villagers are done, and you can see here the rally point is set there. Once they're done, they're going to go harvest some food from this livestock. Okay, some other tips are how to use your keyboard and mouse to kind of get you to different buildings. I had mentioned earlier you can press H. That'll take you right back to your town center. What about some of your units? Well, say, for example, you wanted to build a militia. Uh, in the meantime, I have an idle villager. Hitting period will take you to all of your idle villagers. So if I tell these villagers to stop here for a second... Now, every time I hit period, I'm going to cycle through these idle villagers. Just a really quick way uh, to give your villagers something to do if you don't want to click this button here. You can also do the same thing for your idle military when there's no... H2 doesn't have an idle military button here. But hitting comma will do the same thing as well. So, comma for military, period for villagers. While H takes you back to your town center... Control B will take you to your barracks. So if you want to kind of cycle through or go quickly to your barracks, you can do that as well. And a lot of them are actually kind of self-explanatory. Uh, if you go to your general hotkeys, a lot of these I have not modified. Uh, let's see, we'll go to your cycle commands. So it's kind of as you expected. Archery range is Control A. Barracks is Control B. Dock is D. Uh, let's see here. Market is M. So a lot of these kind of go to what the first letter of them uh, kind of specify as. University is U, for example. So you can customize these if you want. I mean, you can make this just a simple letter on your keyboard. To change it, you simply just uh, press this button here and then pick something. I'll, I'll pick that. However, that's going to conflict under unit commands, military buildings. So that's not really gonna work. I'll go ahead and change that back. Finally, the last thing I wanna share is uh, the difference between yeah. regular moving and attack yeah. moving here when you have units selected. So I'll select a militiaman. Just by right clicking, he's going to be moving. However, to attack move, it's this icon here. You can either press this and then left click and he will attack move or I can do my hotkey, which will tell me which I've set to F. He'll do that as well. Uh, you're not actually going to see a physical, or vi I should say visual difference here in this instance because there's no opponents here, but you'll notice a big difference when you're playing on the battlefield. I think this is a decent stopping point, or I guess uh, 
the basics, the fundamental basics of using mouse and keyboard for those who have just never used it on Age of Empires 2. I'm going to post a link in the description when the video releases on the channel of a multiplayer video where I played Age 2 on Xbox. Uh, it's a 1v1 match. Uh, the entire thing is on mouse and keyboard. Personally, I think if you're new to playing Age of Empires and you're new to playing it, especially on Xbox, you should probably remain playing this on a controller for now just to get an idea of the basics of your units, how economy works. And remember, the controller has the villager preset that's not present here on mouse and keyboard. I know there's a lot of better experts who can tell you better tips for mouse and keyboard. So I think for more advanced things, I'll leave it to those other creators to make those tutorials. But I do think for basics, I'm hoping this was helpful for you. Well, I'm making a ton of tutorials related to Age of Empires 2 on Xbox. So please check out the Age of Empires tutorial playlist. And if you're interested in maybe seeing us play multiplayer, there's an Age of Empires 2 multiplayer playlist as well. That's going to do it for me. Thank you all so much for watching, everybody. And I'll see you, James.